What's up, everybody? Kotha Fred here with another episode of Magic Duel's Origins, brought to you by Fravis's Whimpering Soul. No, no, it, that lies. One more time. Uh, got an enchantment tech here. Uh, Kotha Fred was. Uh, th th thanks, Kotha Fed, by the way, man. Um, nice of you to uh, come in and, and compliment me like that. Uh, he, he, he's just here because we're playing a black-white deck, and of course, he's not the star of the deck, because it's really hard to make Kotha Fed a star of anything, and, and he's giving me a real nasty look right now, so I'm, I'm a little bit uh, regretting what I said, but we're, uh, we're up against somebody, we're gonna do, a, like I said, an enchantment deck, black-white enchantment deck, otherwise known as Orzov enchantment deck, super cools. Uh, have not done this, this is based off of, um, eh, almost Legends, uh, Black White Enchantment deck, not not quite. He had some things in there that I really didn't like, um, uh, so I fixed it. This is an interesting hand. I'm not. This is a, literally, literally the first time I'm playing this. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I've got three plays, and and then I got my bombs, which is kind of weird. That's that's the wait. Did did my buddy just leave? Uh, is Kithian a turn one drop? Um. <laughs> I feel that answer is no. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it though. <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's the right way to go. Uh, like I said, very very first uh, time playing this deck. I have absolutely no idea. It is somewhat based on uh, Legend VD's uh, version of this, and I'm going to give it a run. I, I did make several changes because I don't like. I don't. I, I, I didn't like some of the things he did. He, he has like Shambling Ghoul in here, which yes, I, I I'll be the first to admit. Shambling Ghoul is a very solid body, but he's he's not. It, it I don't want it. it. It comes into play tapped. Not the worst thing, but you're only getting a two three for two. I don't know. I m maybe he belongs in here. Maybe he doesn't. I I feel I, I replaced him with like a Liliana, a uh, that two one vampire life linker that's in black. Uh, and what else did I? And oh, Kithian, I think I, I put Kithian in here because I like the Planeswalkers, and and Legend didn't have the Planeswalkers, and you have enough creatures, I think, to justify the Planeswalkers. So why the hell not? I can play Knight of the White Orchid. I'm gonna hold off because I don't have a land yet. I missed my land drop. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, I don't have enough creatures to really make that happen. So I'm gonna just hold off. I do have a Reef Soul. Unfortunately, it's not instant speed, which really, really sucks. That's probably the worst part about it. Uh, Reef Soul, in my opinion. Did my opponent leave? I don't... Oh, and there we go. That's exactly <laughs> Martellius. Super cool name. Well, I mean, I did get six damage in there, which is nice. Uh, but he he, to he totally two for one me. But did he really? He's got a few... I don't know. He, he totally did. I will get my super duper cool Knight of the White Orchid out here. We're going to get a Plains, because that's my only option. And we're going to put it down. Uh, put it down automatically. Who am I kidding? Got the tra Tragic Arrogance in here, which I super like. Uh, we're going to be putting down Hilliod's Pilgrim this turn. Wow, my opponent has not much happening in their life. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to put down, actually. I am missing some land drops here. That's that's not good. Not good. I need to get up here because I got my Tragic Arrogance. I got my uh, I got my Sigil of the Empty Throne. I got I got things I need to cast. Let's uh, for the very least these are gonna thin out my deck. I'm not really sure what uh, aura I want to pick up. This is an aura, right? Yep. Not an enchantment. Suppression bonds. You know I had. I, I was gonna be a Nimbus Wings. Nimbus Wings. I chose that because I have removal. Reef Soul, which is not going on that O2. That's dumb. <laughs> that is the dumbs. But I will be casting a Nimbus Wings unless they have another play. I, th this is the, my opponent is casting... Oh, no, he's casting kind of weird. No, I think I think they did leave, right? I, I vaguely remember seeing that little pop-up that they took off. I'm not sure if they did. I really don't know. Shit. Where are my lands? I've got 24 in here. Well, that's what I'm doing. I gotta get in there, bruh. And we're doing it. Not sure if there's a block here. It, it sort of depends on what's in their hand. If they have a lot more creatures, there will be a block. If not, they're, they're just going to skip it, so that's fine. That kind of tells me that they don't have many creatures in their hand, which is kind of weird because they have five cards. I mean, and by five, I mean six, <laughs> because I can count. I do actually have to count each individual card. It's not a numeric representation. 
that helps me out here. That's not good, but uh, I I will be able to drop Heliod's Pilgrim because I know that that Fleshbag Mar Marauder is coming down. So Heliod's Pilgrim is coming down. Hopefully I get a land so I can do... Oh, damn it, Kotha Fed. Come on, man. It's like I let you do the intro and you're just fucking with me today. Jeez, buddy. Jeez. I'm tempted to put down the Reef Soul, but all my creatures can fuck them up anyway. It really has to be Heliod's Pilgrim, which I can do next turn. Or next main phase, I mean, as long as I don't miss it. Because my bro's got uh, first strike, so if he wants to block, I'm totally cool with it. He's taking four turn. Fog. <laughs> okay. I well, did not see that coming, but at least we got that out of his hand. He only... I mean, he only stopped 40% mm, of his life loss, which isn't bad. I will be dropping Heliod's Pilgrim, who, by the way, will be getting sacked out if and when they play Suppression... Um, Fleshbag. Jeez, I already have a Nimbus Wings in hand. I guess a su Suppression Bond this time. I guess that's the right play. I'm not really sure at this point. Yeah, I knew that was coming. We saw it coming. So the one two's got to go. Uh, gonna get hit with four here. Yep, it's gotta be this way. Gotta to be this way. Uh, no, we're not gonna hit with four. I, silly me, he decided to keep the flesh bag. That's interesting. Uh, not not well, not really. It's more more damage overall. Flesh bag's probably getting popped. I think. And. Eh. Where are my lands, man? 24 lands. I'm telling you, I have the lands. Jeez. Uh, boy. Okay, well, they could double block my knight. So I'm going to do this Reef Soul pre-combat. Uh, I don't remember if this guy does anything else that I have to worry about. If he would die, exile it instead. That's not bad. So I don't have to worry about him coming back. Okay, yeah, then I will absolutely... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so if he wants to double block, that would be hilarious and totally fine. So he's probably taking four here, or he's chumping with the 1-1, one -one, which I think is more likely. Yeah, they're probably almost definitely going to chump with the 1-1 one -one on my Knight of the White Orchid. Or they're going to just cast a Fog, because that's what they got in hand. <laughs> well, um, I think I'm in a great position. I mean, I only have three lands, which super sucks right now. But it's not bad. Not not bad at all. I mean, I'm doing all right. Kothafed's just staring me down, kind of upset. Uh, he's even here uh, to my right. Uh, I let him do the announcement uh, today because I, I want to do something a little different. Just for a second. And I think he's okay with it. I don't know. He looks kind of pissed at me right now. And now he's definitely... Oh, no. His eyes are going bad. Okay, we're, we're going to have to shut up. Sorry, man. Um, I, I will definitely play you uh, the second I get the mana. Thank you for that land. That's very appreciated. Um, what are we doing today? We would like... I could Nimbus Wings my Knight. I think Blightcaster would be a little better, because then it'll be removal along with... That, so I can, like, have double removal when I cast that. The other option is Liliana, but none of my creatures are going to die. Uh, I'm actually thinking whether or not I need Liliana here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm def... Oh, wait, is it when any creature dies? Uh... When a creature I control dies now, so none of my creatures are going to die. I might as well swing in. He's definitely going to chump block unless he's got another fog in hand. The O2, yeah, all right. So he does not have another fog in hand because they can cast it. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to remind myself why... Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's the wrong, wrong way to go here. So we're definitely doing Blight Collar Caster? Blight something. Blight Collar Cast? Blight Caster. Blight Caster. Okay. We're getting swung into, which I am totally fine with. Go right ahead. Take me to 12. It took me a second to count that for some reason. For some, I wanted to say 11, but that was incorrect. No plays on their turn. That's scary. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to take the tempo hit from dropping Blessed Spirits, even though it would, uh, it, it, it would synergize really well with my Nimbus Wings and Suppression Bonds. Hmm... I can knock down both of their creatures and swing in. Yeah. Let's see, can I win right now? Can I win? Let's see, Nimbus Wings. No. Damn it. I don't think I can win. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, we're just going to... Since 
since we're not going to win anyway, I'm just going to Nimbus Wings, my Blight Caller. And the Neg 2 is going to... Well, it's the obvious target, isn't it, you guys? <laughs> and hopefully... And they're probably going to chump block with the 1-1, one, so I'm not too worried about anything. Boop. Boop. Didn't have enough for the win, unfortunately, which made, makes me a little sad. I just needed one more damage. Oh, are you kidding me? So they just drew that fog? Jeez, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Fine. I, I probably have the win next turn. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm still kind of messed up. That is just all the poos. Well, they're not swinging. They're not blocking. Of course he has one more fog in hand, right? Can I win this turn? I don't... I see no way for that to happen. I can drop five, six, seven, they'll be at one. The answer is no, right? God damn, man. Alright. Last block, last fog, only two cards in hand. There you go. Sigil of the Empty Throne is coming down now, I guess. Uh, I told Kotha Fed that I have to put to put him down if if I get... Uh, oh, that that's just silliness. Well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> and it's just that would not be useful. I, I told Kotha Fed that as soon as we get the mana for him, we we absolutely have to cast him because I, I'm only running one copy of him because he doesn't really fit in this deck. Don't let him. I mean, he's he's in the bathroom right now, so he's he can't hear me. But uh, I told him I, I'm only running one copy because he's not really he doesn't synergize that well. Uh, and we're also not since he's not here, he didn't get out yet. I think we can win without him noticing. Oh damn! I could have I could have evened him out. Shit! Shit! Okay, wait. Look. When Kotha Fed comes back, uh, just tell him I, I, I evened our opponent. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. Excellent. We did this. We got it. First game. Boom. Okay, first game ever, actually. Ever. Like, I've never played this deck before. So we're going to we're gonna do a couple more of these. I'm having fun with it. I, I don't... It's not really in the meta, is it? I mean, you don't see this very often. You see mono white enchantments. And you see, like, Azorius enchantments, which is uh, white-blue. But you don't really see white-black too much, which is a shame. I, I mean, I have seen it before. I'm not, I don't want to give you the impression that I've like, like it's never been done. It's absolutely been done. But it's rare. I don't think it's really that good. And also, what was, what was the other thing? Well, I, wow. Wow. Let's just have the opposite problem of what I had last. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't keep that. Oh, man. This is awful. I have no plays. Oh, do I, oh man. Do I want to go down to five, though? Oh, this is, this is awful. This is awful. Guys, this is not the deck's fault. This is just bad, bad luck, man. This is just bad beats. I am going first. Which, actually, I'm not sure if I want to do right now, man. I mean, I usually always want to go first. But in this case... Maybe I want those extra cards. This is a me- Oh, jeez. Come on. I have plenty of two drops. Don't get me wrong here. I got the right curve. I can- I'll go through the deck at the end of the episode because I think some people actually do like to see what exactly I'm running. So, I mean, I'll do that, but... God, what a mess. Okay, alright. Who, who we got? Astro... Menisros. That, that's a mouthful. Well, I mean, hey, at least I got three lands. Um, okay, here's the, here's my problem. Here, here's my problem. I don't have enchantments, so this is coming down as a 3-2. But it doesn't really matter. My, my opponent is definitely playing other cards. I'm going to grab a Nimbus Wings right now. Because I can cast a Nimbus Wings. The other option was to ca cast Blood Cursed, which would have been more aggressive. And I like that idea, but I I don't not like as I'm thinking it. I feel like I should have actually cast Blood Curse Knight because they're not running red, so it, it's not going to die to a Twin Bolt or a Fiery Impulse or anything. It's just it's just red and green, which is just straight destroy. Oh, uh, excuse me, black and green, which I'm guessing is I'm going to go with uh, Golgari Control, maybe. I don't know. Elves don't usually need that land ramp. Do I want to just dump my wings? Not The answer is no, but I will. The other option is to put down my Blood Cursed Knight, but then I'll have nothing to do this turn. 
Yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do. So if they have removal, they're not going to be able to take out... If, if they have removal, like if they have a Reef Soul in hand... Um, no, I'm not, I'm not going to waste time. If, if they have removal, they're going to hit my Blood Curse Knight now, probably. And my Heliod Pilgrim can hit... Uh, wow, three of those. Can get the Nimbus Wings on my next turn. Obviously, they don't have... Oh, wait, did they play a land yet? I'm not sure if they did. No, I guess they did. Okay. They have no plays. So they're ramping like a mofo. That's really nice to see, actually, because this this changes things up a little bit. This means I actually want to swing all in. No reason not to now. I, I don't have to do it with the 1-2, but I, I choose to, because this is America. And that's how I fucking feel. Blightcaster is definitely coming down now. Blightcaster, very underplayed card in this format. It's really, really very good in limited. Uh, obviously, this is sort of like limited. This is sort of like between limited and constructed. So, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that Blightcaster is a, is a decent card. That's good. Because I can suppression bonds the 5-5. Five five, and I'll be quite happy with that. Unless I get a land, in which case Sigil of the Empty Throne... Kind of makes me want it to come out, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see now. Uh, no, I need to I need to knock down that 5-5 five five right now. So what we're going to do... What we're going to do... Looks like he's going to lose that 2-2 two two anyway, huh? Yeah, we're going to Suppression Bonds that. We're going to Neg 2 this. And then he's going to block with the 2-2 two two because he wants to get rid of it. And then he'll be down to just one creature, an O2. Which works pretty fucking well for me. If he wants to if he wants to kill my one two, that's okay, because he'll that means he'll take two damage next to that that is fine by me, honestly. I didn't think he would do that. I thought he wanted to get rid of his two two, but he's taken two damage. So he's not actually preventing damage right now. He did kill one of my creatures, but I'm gonna have plenty of creatures coming down anyway. So I'm fine with that. That situation is okay with me. I think I'm going to Sigil of the Empty Throne before I put down my Nimbus Wings, but he is... Ooh, man, let me see. This card is not very good, because it's not plus one, plus one per... per enchantment. It's plus one, plus one if you have an enchantment. Oh, that sucks. Well, looks like my Blightcaster's got to go. Yeah, it's... it's if I can select it, it's going to be my Blightcaster. Which is poo. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, at least he doesn't have a 5-5 five five up in the air anymore. <laughs> Which is okay with me. He... Ooh, that's a poop. That's a poop. So let's see now. What do I want to do here? Uh, if... I, I have several options. I really want that Sigil of the Empty Throne before I put down my Nimbus Wings. Oh, that's nice too. This way I can empty off his board and then swing in for three. And then I can put Sigil down next turn. You think that's worth it? Hmm. Jeez. Or do I... T you know what? I'm at 24. So I don't have to get rid of these guys yet. I'm just going to put down that. I don't think he's going to have that many pumps. I think I'm okay. Uh, can't swing in. He'll block with the 3-1 uh, and then kill it. He wants to sack out the 2-2 two -two before he gets the damage. Which makes sense to me. Yep. I mean, I would have I would have dumped a Reef Soul on that thing. Oh, actually, it would have been a 3-1. But, who cares? Eh, maybe that was the right move, because then he would take another two, turn, uh, two damage. But, I don't know. For some reason... I wow. You're doing that pre-combat? You know, you could have swung with that thing. I wouldn't have blocked. Mm, I think you fucked up there, bro. I definitely would not have blocked. It's a 4-3. I would have lost it. But, whatever. That's how he wants to play it. Ooh, damn. That sucks. Well, I'm going to be shitting out a bunch of 4-4s uh, four fours real soon, which is nice. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, damn. Ah, he runs those. Oh, I should have seen that coming. I, I really should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, well. Well, that's nice, too. And I can cast both of this and Nimbus Wings, so that's kind of sweet. I will definitely be doing that. Coming down right down here to Chinatown. If he wants to swing with his 2-1, I'm totally happy with that. Swing in and empty him for 5. So, if he wants to race, I think 
I think I'm beating him on the race. Right, he's got a 6-5 coming in. Does it have Renown too? I don't think it has No, it doesn't. No, it just does that enter the battlefield effect. He's got a lot more cards and a lot more ramp, and he's got his, uh, his evolutionary leap going on. Cruel Revival is very bad for me. Very, very bad. He's got a lot of removal, and he's probably going to get that damn... Yeah, yeah, the flesh bag. He can't drop it now. Well, why did you get your flesh bag if you already have a way to kill it? That doesn't make sense. Well, he just cleared my board. I have no creatures back. And that is exactly what's wrong with enchantment decks. Because once you lose your creatures, you are fuckered. Fuckered bad. I mean, I have I have some time to stabilize. It's not the end of the world. I'm definitely getting rid of that. That's That's got to go. Uh, I feel, honestly, like I'd rather have... What, what's that white spell? The one that kills... Oh, does he have a way to kill... Oh, oh. Oh my. He's not going to be able to flip that Liliana. Unless he has another creature to Evolutionary Leap. And he doesn't. Excellent. Okay, because that Liliana is getting getting pounded right now, and he has to leap either her or his 6-5. Either one of these I'm actually okay with. Probably her. I think the better move would be to flip her, uh, to kill her, right? Yeah. I think they did the right thing. And that's very bad. <laughs> that's very, very bad. Probably lost this game. But I'm definitely expecting more losses, because this deck is not very good. It's very slow. Doesn't have a lot of ways to deal with shit. Uh, Reef Soul and Blightcaster are the only guys that really do anything for in terms of control, and I just don't have it. Damn, I wish he, I wish that was enough to kill me. I didn't count it, and I felt like, oh good, this is over. Oh, that's that's that doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't matter at all. The heck. Yeah, yeah. It really makes no difference, but okay. Oh, you know what? I should have dropped my... Oh, damn it! I had my opportunity. I should have dropped my Swamp to show him that I have nothing. But really, yeah. All right. He's... And you know what? This guy's pretty good. Good player. I like him. He didn't fuck around. He didn't waste time. He did He did a good job. So, props to you, bro. I couldn't uh, finish your name. Or pronounce your name. But I did, didn't I? I did pronounce his name. Never mind. I, I can't remember your name is what really what I'm trying to say. But, good game. I liked it. He did well. And that really is what, uh, can, that's, that's the fucking problem with aura decks, man. It's, you're putting all your eggs in a few creatures. And once you lose those creatures, you're really, you're really shit out of town. Reprisal is the removal spell I'm thinking of. I think the creatures that hurt me more are the ones above, or four and above power. But all I have is that removal that kills a creature that's three and below power. So... Is that really what I want, or do I want the four and above? I think I want the four and above, because the big fat creature... I don't have a lot of big fat creatures, man. I really don't. Fumori. That's a... Ugh, don't, don't like pronouncing that at all. The TH followed by an M is really poop. This will get me an aura. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The problem with white is that you need so much of it. <laughs> I have one play, and that's on turn three. I don't want to keep this. I don't like it. This is a, actually... Actually, this is better. I'm blown away at how much better this is, actually is. Uh, I'm going to drop Evolving Wilds after Evolving Wilds, and I'm going to get two planes. And then I should be okay. Let's see what color he does. He did this main phase. Red. So maybe Thopters? There's a lot of different ways this can go. Unfortunately, I'm not going first now, which is actually quite bad for me. I'm still going to go Evolving Wilds, and now actually I can, hmm, well actually it depends, no, he's, he's going to have, he's going to have another land at least here, so let's see, alright, this is, I'm, I'm definitely going to call Thopters here, do I, can I, do I have to grab it now? No, I don't think I have to grab it now actually, I can, I can wait another turn, because I don't have any plays that I want to put down. I really don't. So I'm going to let him guess on what my colors are. And hopefully he has another land. Let's hope. Damn it, that's not good. Aw, oh, shit. He doesn't have another land. Fuck. 
Well, that's not good at all. Well, I gotta, I gotta get my planes. I don't give a shit. Come on. I still gotta get my planes. I'm not gonna keep holding off on the tempo just for Knight of the White Orchid to go fetch me another planes. If he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it, you know? That's, that's just, it sucks. Damn. I really wish he didn't miss that land drop. Damn, I really wish he didn't. Can I hold off on that then? Hmm. I can play Heliod's Pilgrim in the meantime. I guess I'll do that. God damn. That sucks. Okay. I'll play Heliod's Pilgrim and grab a Nimbus Wings because I have two suppression bonds already. So that'll work, and then I'll just pass turn. I'm taking a hit on damage here, but I'm hoping to ramp a little better, and I mean, it'll thin my deck out. It'll. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this guy can do. Twin Bolt on that? That's totally cool with me. Better that than my Knight of the White Orchid. Seriously. Way better. I'm glad that's out of the way. Maybe this is some kind of is a control. Alright, this went str Wow, is he in trouble? Huh. I actually want my Blessed Spirits out right now. But if I put my White of the Night Orchid and he... You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait for him to catch up. If he has it, he has it. Let's do this fast. Boom. Come on. Come on. Okay, good. He didn't have another twin bolt. Excellent. Now that's a little out of his uh, out of his league. I think we're doing pretty good right now. I think we're doing pretty good right now. He's definitely mana fucked right now. That's I hate Gilgates. I hate Gilgates so much. Because the Evolving Wilds thin out your deck, so you're less likely to draw another... You're less likely to draw another land, which, in my opinion, is good, because you get all your lands out a little earlier. The guild gates are a little bit better for mana fixing, but I don't know. I feel if you're just running two colors, I, I personally I really think I really think evolving wilds is are way better than the guild gates, and I definitely wouldn't run both. That's way too many tap lands. So I hate guild gates personally. I know a lot of people still run them. I know a lot of pros still run them, but I don't give a shit honestly. That wow, that sucks. He is not running artifacts, that's for sure. He's running some kind of a dodge and burn build, which I really like. I, but I looked at the card piles, and it looked really hard to actually make this happen. So I, I don't feel... Oh, damn, I don't have any auras or anything to actually do anything with. <laughs> I just have this tutu flying around. And you know he's got another fiery impulse or twin bolt in hand that's going right to this guy's face. If he ever does put down a creature... I can get, I can suppression bond it and put down my 4-4. 4-4 flying. I feel like this guy, oh, good. Oh, this is artifact then. Oh. I did not realize that. I am I am sorry. Very silly of me. Okay. Okay. I, I, I really didn't think this was artifact. I thought he was gonna do something else. Uh, this is actually fine. I will swing in. Tragic Ar Arrogance is going to be great against this deck. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, this guy definitely um, was mana fucked in the beginning part of this game. So, it, it, yeah, he he kept a two lander, which I th I think he kept a two lander, which was totally fine. But I'm actually going to do the flyer, which might be funny to you. But I want that. 1-3 to be swinging in. I want I want that 1-3 to get destroyed later, so if I actually draw a Reef Soul or something, I can hit that 1-3 and not and not get rid of my Suppression Bond, so my control is more spread out over his creatures, if that makes any sense. I think the 1-3 is more valuable, so I'd rather kill that. That sucks. And it can swing in, but it won't, because that's silly. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's I think this guy's got a bad beat. I'm not gonna actually. Oh God, I should have used that because then I could have I could have drawn this land earlier and not had to worry about it. Uh, I'm still swinging in. Not too worried about much right now. Definitely did the misplay with not popping the evolving wilds. I, in my mind, I was like, oh, I have enough lands. I don't have to do it. But no, that was that was definitely a misplay. So, just gonna pop that. Uh, I will do the Evolving Wilds on their end step, and then get a Swamp. Because Swamp is the right... is the, the, the land that I have the least of, or at least the black mana source that I have the least of. 
So we'll grab that. I'll let this guy think. I feel pretty bad for him. He definitely got uh, get shit wrecked here. That's fine. I'll, I'll take the three. Obviously, I have no choice. Doesn't do me too bad. I could suppression bonds, but he's... Oh, should I have suppression bonds? Nope. Because I'm going to try to Garrigans. <laughs> Boop. Let's get that. Let's get that planes. Let's get that planes. Because he's all tapped out, so it's fine to do it now. Or did... Or did I just miss my opportunity? Like, what the hell happened here? What happened here, you guys? Hello. 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 What the hell? I, dude, I was hitting the pause button. What the fuck was that about? That really pisses me off. Okay. So let's see. What do we have here? We They can double block that guy. Or they could double... Alright, so they could double block if they wanted to. I will be able to Nimbus Wings, not that it matters. Oh no, it'll, it'll add... Yeah, okay, so I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about what I want here. <laughs> I figured it out, you guys. I want... That won't be sacrificed... The Thopter. I don't want the Thopter to be sacrificed. I don't want that to be sacrificed. I don't want that to be sacrificed. An artifact... Oh wait, I'm losing that shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh well. Let's... Let's do that. Didn't have enough for suppression bonds because... Probably my own fault. But his last turn, I tried getting that shit down. It didn't work. Didn't work. I tried hitting pause. It was like, eh, no. That's fine. Yeah, he's gone. That makes sense. Well, you can still chump block, bro. You can still chump block. You're, you're not completely dead yet. You are not completely dead. Tragic Arrogance is great against the Thopter deck, because if you read it, it's set... You know what, I'm going to do this now so it doesn't bug out again, because it totally bugged out last 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 time. So let's actually get that swamp right now. Okay, pass turn. All set. Tragic Arrogance is great against the Thopter deck, because it says pick a creature and pick an artifact. And it doesn't say another artifact or another creature. So you can pick the artifact and the creature at the same time. You know, so... so I don't know how to explain that. If they... So you can choose for their artifact and for their creature the same Thopter token. You get it? So it doesn't mean that at the end, when, when, when the spell resolves, you get... They'll have one creature and one artifact. No, no, no. They can have one artifact creature left rather than one artifact and another creature it's it, i don't know if i made that sense I pr it's probably more complicated in my head than it actually is but it i never actually really had to think about it but in this case it was pretty relevant and it, it happened so just rewind and you can take a peek bloody vc bloody vaginal currency bloody holy shit there's a lot of, what my lands today my lands today uh, I can't keep that. I really can't. I can keep this. This is much better. Definitely going to go Plains Plains uh, Knight of the White Orchid. Unfortunately, I am going first. And I say unfortunately. It's not necessarily unfortunately, is it? But it means that I won't be able to get the most out of my knight. Hmm... I'm I'm gonna hold back just for that ramp. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's the wrong move or not. I have to hold back twice for that ramp. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? This is awful. What a terrible idea. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just resoul that, and then it won't be totally useless. I feel like it's still totally useless. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I I I I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm putting down my fucking Blessed Spirits. I don't give a shit. God, that's dumb, isn't it? Ugh. Next turn, no matter what, he, it doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. I, I don't... Knight of the White Orchid is only good... You know what? I might actually cut this card. I, I'm actually pissed about it. You need two white, which is kind of a pain. And... Yeah, you know I'm not blocking here, because you're genius. You need fucking two white. Rakdos is a bad matchup for me. And you have 
Ugh. Jeez, this is not good. Not good. Holy cow. And he's already behind. So, fuck the world then. See, now I can't play my Nimbus Wings as well as the Knight, Knight of the White Orchid. This sucks. I can play Child of Night. And then swing in with three. Which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Do I want to do this like this? It'll only be one more damage. What's my next turn? My next turn I'll have five lands out. Yeah, I'm not going to do this like this. Because if he has removal for my Child of Night, then he just two for one to me. So I'm not going to put the Nimbus Wings on the Child of Night now. Because uh, it'll give me one extra damage only, and I don't feel like that's enough. And again, these Reef Souls, I'm still questioning whether or not I even want these in here. Same with the Knight of the White Orchid. I'm questioning whether or not I want that guy in here. If I go first, this guy's almost useless. I just realized that now. I mean, obviously I should know better, but I don't. <laughs> I definitely do not. And I'm down damage because of it, because of my stupidity here. So I'm definitely not doing that again. Wow, triple Perilous Mirror. But he is down on land. I'm assuming that he's got some kind of Rakdos Rush deck, so the low lands is kind of... is kind of his point. Nimbus Wings right here. Swing in for quite a bit. Six, I think, right? Six and then gain six, uh, three life. Very nice. Not good for him. Not not a good day. I think I'm swinging in. I think I'm going to get a Heliod's Pilgrim for... I don't know if I want Nimbus Wings or if I want a Suppression Bonds. He only He's going to have three lands next turn. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be Nimbus Wings. Nimbus Wings, I think, is a little more aggressive. And he's definitely on the defense right now. Yeah, I, that's totally what I want to do, actually. Fuck, fuck the world, that's what I'm doing. He knows I have the Nimbus Wings in hand. He needs to actually be able to sack these guys out and, and start killing my creatures. He, he, needs, he needs more control. He's doing some kind of a rush deck. Don't know why he didn't swing there. I think that was silly of him. He, he saw that I had this in hand. He knew this was coming. So I really don't know what the hell he was doing, but whatever. This that's his choice. I'm not gonna not gonna tell him what to do. Now I can actually reef soul one of those guys. If I felt like it. He's dead next turn almost no matter what, so there's no real need to waste my hand and drop anything. Uh I don't know if he was actually see there's another guild gate. I mean if it was an evolving wild or something. Yeah, he's gone, of course. I stomped him way too hard. Those games felt pretty fast, so I think I'm just gonna... I am gonna be able to even him. Oh, do you think he's got, like, a... He doesn't have Spell Mastery. No, I think I'm good with this. I think I can even him like this. Yep, yeah, we're good. We're good. Good. Bloody VC. Bloody Vaginal Currency. Man, I'm sorry, pal. Bloody Very Curation. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'm just making words up now. Uh, GG, bro. Hey, I, I wonder if I can make it to uh, rank 40 in this run. I'm interested. That's that's interesting. Rakdos uh, can actually be really fucky for me because they'll have a lot of control, which which kind of fucks my deck. And they will have steel effects. And since I'm really reliant on those creatures, if they, like, an act of treason, and then they can pop the act of treason with their, like, Nantuko Husk or Blood Bloodflow Connoisseur, I'm, I'm pretty fucked then, you know? I can get pretty fucked. This is risky, but but keepable. R risky because I only have one creature, and it's a three drop. Hmm, man, I don't know about this hand. And I go second to well, actually going second in this situation, I think it's good because it'll get me an extra card. But I, I don't know. I uh, uh, I don't know, guys. This is dangerous. This is this is a dangerous one. He is showing green, so I don't want to put my swamp down. Because if he's running Acid Moss, he's gonna pop my Swamp, and since it's the only one I have, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose it. <laughs> I don't wanna lose it until like another, another Black Source. Ooh, Azorius. No, 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 no. Simic. Excuse me, Simic. All messed up. Yeah, this is a uh, Simic so far. They uh, they tend to do a lot of token generation and stuff. There's another Black Source, so that's nice. I think I'm gonna stick with the planes. There's no need for me to show him that I'm that I'm playing black. I don't want him to have any more information. Telling time. All right, Simic is actually. If I didn't love red so much, like if red wasn't in Magic: The Gathering, I'd probably like Simic, because 
green blue is super cool you know they're like opposed colors they green is for all the just leave things the way they are sort of natural sort of flow of things and blue is all about the pursuit of knowledge and, and artifacts and unnatural things so having those two colors allied together make for a really interesting and diverse um, combination whatever I'm trying to say here Blessed Spirits is probably my bump. Green Blue doesn't have much that actually gets me scared. I'm going to save my Nimbus Wings next turn. I'm actually going to be putting down the Suppression Bonds in that 2-2, two -two because the 2-2 two -two Regenerator... Th that Regeneration is unfortunately fairly relevant, especially in this format, because... Destroy Target Creature, it can't be regenerated. Not many cards have that. So the regeneration, especially in, in standard format these days, more relevant than you might think. It, it it used to be not as relevant, but now it's it's becoming more relevant because the true removal for regeneration is not really there. So I think the counter for that is just to make it more expensive. Ooh, that's a good card to have. I almost want to I almost want to suppression bonds that, actually. Because that when he dies, he draws a card, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to Suppression Bonds back. Either way, if I swing in... I mean, I want to do 3 damage to him. Next turn, I can put down my Sigil. Hmm. On my other hand... Boy. Yeah, it's going to be Suppression Bonds on this guy. That's definitely who I want taken care of. Because I don't want him to eventually block with that, or, or even block now with that. So, let's just get in there. Do three. He is technically winning the race right now. I've got I've got more cards in hand, but not by much. Only one. And at this point, I do not have more board power. But I, I don't know. It, I, I feel like I'm ahead at this stage of the game. But that's not necessarily true. That's a card I don't like draw. I don't like playing. So let's see. Uh, till a non-land. What is it? You draw. What four? He can put some of those in his hand and the rest in the library or something, right? How's that actually roll? Yeah, that's that is how it goes, right? Let's just double check, just just to make sure. He has spell mastery now. I don't think he did then. Uh, I'll I'll take that. Top five cards, of any creature card in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. Okay, and I think he put another one of those uh, regenerating guys in there, right? I think I think. Definitely swinging in right now. I'll, I'll take another three next turn. I'm not too worried about it. If he has another creature that I actually have to worry about, Suppression Bonds is going to help me out. I think it was another one of those regenerating guys. And Sigil of the Empty Throne definitely coming out now, so I get a little more value out of all these enchantments that I have. Unless he grabbed a Reclamation Sage, which is in this deck possibly, which would suck. <laughs> Did he have that? Oh, God. I wish I had better memory. I really should uh, pay attention to that kind of shit. Shit, he did! Oh god, I hope he didn't just draw that. Did he just draw that? Fuck me, man. Fuck. If he just drew that, I, then I'm a total tool. Well, actually, maybe he drew that to get rid of his suppression bonds, because he didn't know I had a, a throne open. Ooh, boy. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's a problem for me. Not the worst problem, though. I, I, I can live with this. I can definitely live with this. Uh, he can't block anything. Uh, oh, I could have hit him for one more damage if I had done this correctly, but I decided that I'm an idiot. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's see. Nimbus Wings is going on the Child of Night, probably. Tent? Who the heck are you? Are you a friend of mine? Who the hell was that? I don't know who that is. Anyway, yeah, I could have done one more damage. He could be at 9 right now, so that was another misplay on mine. Hopefully I'm catching these guys as they come. And hopefully we can... Oh, Zendikar's Royal. A Simic deck. What the heck? Well, I could have Suppression Bonded that, or is that just Activated Abilities? It's Activated Abilities. Okay, so no, that's a Triggered Ability, so that's not gonna... That wouldn't have stopped Zendikar's Royal, but whatever. Hitting me for two, which I do not mind, because Child of Night and Herod's Pilgrim are coming out right now. Herod's probably grabbing me another Suppression Bond, because I have a feeling I need more control. And I don't have it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I really want Child of Night out. I, I really want that life gain. And I want to hit it with a Nimbus Wings next turn. So really, I can only pay for either Helod's Pilgrim or Reeve's Soul. Helod's would just get me a Suppression's Bond so I can control some of his creatures, so I might as well do that right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what he can do with this. I'm not even hitting it, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, it wasn't like he had an Evolutionary Leap or a Fog wouldn't save it, so I'm not really sure what Instant Speed trick he had, but it just turned out he was scrying, so... That's fine. Don't forget to swing in here. That 5-5 is gonna get you next turn. Helot's Pilgrim, definitely getting a Suppression's Bond next turn if he puts out another Flyer, which I don't think he can. The other option, if he gets me low, I mean, if he can somehow stop this 5-5, I still have the I still have the Nimbus Wings that can go on the Child of Night, and that'll get me some life back. It'll get me three life back, actually. And assuming they hit me for two this turn... That means I'll be back to 11. <laughs> I can math. Yeah, not sure this is... I mean, probably doing this to draw the card. But even with four mana, I'm not really sure what they can do with it. Oh, you're not drawing the card. I don't know why you did that. Yeah, that, that doesn't help you, bro. What are you trying to do, man? Like... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Well, then I'm. All right. That that that's actually good. I didn't think about that. That's definitely. And you save that as a blocker. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Good idea, man. I will. That's weird because I could block this, but I won't. Suppression bond is four, right? Oh shit! I need a. I need a land. Oh shit! I don't have enough land to make that happen. Oh shit! Oh good. There. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Grab that. Grab my suppression bonds. Put it on the 2 4. <laughs> Man, I almost fucked up there, didn't I? Woo! Thank God uh, Kothafed was over there giving me, giving me exactly what I wanted. You know, believing in the heart of the cards. I can no longer even them out. That sucks. That's, that's too bad. So he stopped me from doing that. But I can at least swing into his butt. Flyers are relevant, man. And Simic, you know, usually Simic is full of flyers, so that's kind of... Well, actually, I'm thinking of Azorius. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so that was all four. Uh, Kothafed, uh, back from the bathroom. I mean, I can smell it from here. It's really, really bad. Def uh, man. Uh, I will go through... I said I would, so I'm going to go through the deck list right now, just real quick. Uh, I'll, I'll be playing this probably for the rest of the week. Uh, I have Kiffian in here because, you know, I, I really like white, actually. White in this format is kind of fun to play. Knight of the White Orchid, don't don't trust this guy for being on here for the entire week. I'm probably going to cut him out. Child of Night is interesting. Child of Night on its own isn't very good, so you need uh, auras to make it better. And the, the, the lifelink is okay. It's not bad. It helps me stay around a little longer for uh, for, for, for you know, winning. <laughs> but it, it's definitely on the chopping block. Maybe not the chopping block. The chopping... Like, the possibility of being in the basket of maybes to be put on the chopping block, not sure. Nimbus Wings, absolutely necessary. Reef Soul, the, the other option for Reef Soul is Reprisal. I guess I could just do two Reef Souls and two Reprisals. I feel like larger creatures are a bigger problem for me. But Reef Soul is out there much faster, so maybe this is... Oh gosh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you have an idea, let me know because I'm actually I'm I'm still not sure with that. Blessed spirits. I mean, hey, if you're playing enchantment, you got you you need those two little kids to like start punching you out and killing you. Heliod's pilgrim. Uh, there's another card that's a little more expensive, and by a little I mean a ton more expensive that does pretty much the same thing. Totem, uh, totem guide, heart beast. And like literally every word in heart beast is spelled wrong, but whatever. Uh, this guy also does the aura thing, aura tut tutelage. Hiliad is obviously much cheaper, only two in the butt, as opposed to five, which is much better, but it does cost five, and I tend to want those. I mean, if I had this guy instead of Hiliad, I wouldn't have been able to win that last game. Liliana, eh, doesn't have to be in here, honestly, but I have a lot of creatures, and she's pretty, I mean, 
Hmm. I don't actually have that many creatures. I only have 20 creatures. Maybe I shouldn't have Liliana in here. I don't know. She's also definitely on the chopping block. Uh, because I'm playing Orzov, I really have to be playing the Blood Curse Knight. It's not that good of a card. I mean, it's probably the weakest of all the uh, gold color cards. It Ideally, it, at best, it's a 4-3 for three, 3. So that's not bad, but it's not great. <laughs> it's okay. Blightcaller, I think, is underplayed. It's a very good card. You do have a lot of enchantments coming around, especially since you get, uh, you keep getting them fed with uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. So I think this is very relevant. I, I think this is really good. By the way, uh, while we're on the tangent here, I don't run Oromancer, and you might think, why? And that's a fair question. Um, Oromancer does not thin your deck, and the problem with this deck is that you need creatures to fill up with your enchantments. If you lose an enchantment. Eh. So you have you have an option. If you don't have an enchantment in your hand, you have an option. One, you can you get Oromancer to get it from your graveyard to your hand, or you can do Heliod's Pilgrim to get it from your library to your hand. You will almost always have one in your library. You may not always have one in your graveyard. Also, pulling it out of your library means you're more likely to draw a creature card. So th uh, this card is significantly better than Oromancer. Uh, even though Oromancer is uh, uh, two in the fists, she just uh, and, and, and beautiful art, but I just can't. Uh, I, I won't. I won't run her. The other. Uh, the other good thing here, Suppression Bonds. Keep in mind that Suppression Bonds is uh, enchanted permanent, so you can hit a Planeswalker with this. You can hit some enchantments with this, like that red one where you pay an extra. Uh, red and you get a, a, a copy of, of a creature that you just played. Uh, this will work. Anything with an activated ability. An activated ability is usually something that you have to pay for. Like it's, it'll either it'll, it usually has a colon in the in the description. Let's see if I can find one. I don't have anything here. Uh, oh wait, no, here, here, the bottom one. Uh, see two and a white and then colon there. Kithian gains indestructible until end of turn. That that is an activated ability. Everything else is a triggered or passive ability, like uh, first strike or whatever. That's not really an ability that you have to worry about. But um, yeah, so that'll hit activated abilities. And I know sometimes it's a little confusing because there, there there isn't really a place where you can read about activated or triggered abilities or passive abilities or things like that. Um, but just keep in mind, if you see a colon. That's an activated ability, so I, I can't think of any exceptions to that rule. So, I, so just for the sake of argument, anything with a colon is an activated ability, and any permanent with a colon—that's <laughs> uh, funny—has uh, uh, this suppression bond can shut down. If they have more than just a colon, if they have like a triggered ability and a colon, then, you know, oh god, whatever. Anyway. Moving on, Sigil of the Empty Throne, I think, is pretty obvious. I'm not going to have to explain that. Tragic Arrogance, I explained a little earlier. Uh, I think it's one of the better removal spells in the game because it can it can deal with a board of just massive giants and titans and all sorts of crap. Not that you're going to see a lot of that here. So maybe in this format, it's not that good of a card. But um, in this game, in this format, it, it's it's okay. It's not bad. It, it's one of my favorite ones. And Kotha Fed is uh, right next to me, so I can't tell you that this card. I mean, you know, if I were an idiot, I would I would tell you that this card is not necessarily uh, the, the best part of this. Of this, but uh, I needed him in here to do the voice. He's really the only only demon in this entire uh, uh, game, really. That that has that's like named. You know, I mean, you get that silly little five five who's who's silly, and then of course you get Erebus Titan, but he's not even legendary, so you really want the cool guy. Uh, but if you were making this deck, um, did, probably don't want to add uh, Kotha Fed. Um, uh, probably. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Uh, love you very much. I will probably be gaining, uh, I don't know, next next uh, episode I'll try to make it to 40. I don't know, I'll put that in the title or something. Love you alls. See you later.